this video from Cassio Hill, we're taking a look at tax programming on the SCC range of cash registers. I've got a few videos on this. This video we're going to look at the actual tax rate programming and then I'll have another couple of videos showing you how to apply the tax rates to your different product buttons and also how to get the tax split to appear on the till receipt if required. Okay, so the first thing to take a look at is the tax setting. So PGM key round to the PGM mode and arrow down to tax setting. CA amount 10 to enter and then we've got three options. We'll look at them all in turn. Um, rate, straightforward. You've got four different tax rates. I'm only going to use two, but you type in the rate, arrow down to the next one and repeat the process until you've entered all your necessary tax rates. Subtotal takes you back to the main tax setting menu and then you can arrow down to rounding. Mine's set to round off which is what I want it to be but you have other options you have cut off or round up so you need to choose the one that's most appropriate for your region. Mine's round off so subtotal back to the main menu and then cow type um, is another important one you can either have add in or add on tax. So if we have a look at tax one, it's set to none, but we've got a choice of add on or add in. I'm going to choose add in because when I run a pound through the till, I am including any taxes in that amount. If I wasn't, so I wanted the till to add the tax on, then I would choose add on. I'm choosing add in. I'm going to apply that to all my tax rates, even the ones I've not actually set up in case I do set them up in the future, then I'm going to do this again. So there we go, and that's the tax programming, the tax rates, rounding and calculation type done. There will be another video appearing now showing you how to apply these rates to your different departments, and then another video showing you how to force the tax split to appear on the receipt. Welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel, or visit casiohelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.